Starting today, retailers have to stop selling flavored tobacco products and menthol cigarettes. This is a new statewide law that aims to reduce the rise in teen smoking. And Fox 5's Alani Latang joins us live from Tierra Santa with more on the impacts for children's health, health and on the tobacco industry as well. Alani, good evening. Andrew Maria, good evening. I can tell you when you walk into most smoke shops, majority of their products are flavored tobacco products. So they say they're not happy. They think it's not fair that people are going to end up getting these products elsewhere and not at their business like they would like they would like to. Whereas supporters of this new law, including doctors say making it harder for kids to get their hands on these products will go a long way in lessening, reducing the amount of youth smoking. No more selling cotton candy, blueberry, or any flavored tobacco products in California. So I think this is a huge win for children's health, both in terms of their physical health and mental health. Voters passed Proposition 31 in November to ban retailers from selling or possessing a list of flavored tobacco and menthol products, including menthol cigarettes, e-cigarettes, or vape pens with flavored liquid, flavored little cigars or cigarellos, plus tobacco product flavor enhancers. With this act going into place, where access will be more difficult, we will see a reduction in use. Some children, of course, may be able to find the product in other ways, but this is one of the first steps as a kind of a barrier prevention in a bigger task force and education about the harms of e-cigarettes and smoking for youth. Dr. Willow Jenkins, the medical director for emergency and consultation liaison psychiatry at Rady Children's Hospital, says middle school and high school students are big customers of all kinds of flavored tobacco, cannabis, and mental all products. Jenkins says Rady Children's continues to see several physical and mental health complications in youth who use these products. In addition, the lung disease and exacerbation of underlying lung conditions, things like asthma that children have, these things absolutely can be worsened. So if you're a parent watching this, I'd really encourage you to look at your own habits and use and realize that that impact can have on your children. Several smoke shops and liquor stores are not on board. They are against being forced to stop selling the flavored tobacco and menthol products. Smoke shop owners say with the majority of their products flavored, they fear going out of business. Liquor store owners say they too will lose out on a good profit. Store owners also tell us they're concerned for customers older than 21 years old who enjoy flavored products. So under this new law, if stores still have any of these banned products, they can contact their wholesaler or their distributor to get a refund. And also under the new law, it states that local law enforcement will be enforcing the new law. And it's an up to a $250 fine for each violation that a store gets. Reporting live in Tierra Santa, I'm Milani Latang, Fox 5 News. Significant adjustment there for a lot of folks in a lot of different ways. Milani, thank you so much.